Alright sports fans, welcome back to my stock channel. This one's called Open, Open Door Technologies Inc. Uh, we looked at a lot of crap tonight. This one is more promising. It is up 9% today. Look what it did after hours. It just kept creeping up and creeping up and creeping up. It's like at, uh, let me get the price, $1.59 now after hours. Dollar sixty after hours, so I went up another seven cents after hours. Uh, the one-year chart, it's crap, seventy-seven percent down. Six months, crap, sixty-three percent. One month, crap, down thirty-five percent. Five days, it's only down two percent. This little today's rally must have brought that up. Uh, what happened to this company, Open Door Technologies? They are still, even at this price, worth $983 million. That's a lot of money for a company to be worth. Maybe they have that much cash and that's all they have going on for them. Uh, we shall see, but let's find out a little bit more about what they do. Number one, yeah, let's find out what they do. Um, Open Door Technologies, it's an online company that buys and sells residential real estate. Uh-oh. Headquartered in San Francisco, finds a lot of, uh, residential real estate. Uh, it's in San Francisco. It makes instant cash offers on homes through an online process. Oh, my God. Zillow and Redfin are just running away from this business model. Uh, make repairs on the properties it purchases and relist them for sale. Um, yeah, these people are getting butchered right now as an industry. Um, interest rates uh, to sell a house right now. They think you need to pay six to seven percent uh, to the mortgage company, which is actually probably normal. But society has gotten used to zero percent rates and three or four percent loans. Um, the difference between four percent and seven percent is immense on a house that's four hundred thousand dollars. Uh, lately, people have been able to go and get that house and have a monthly payment of $1,700. Uh, today, at today's current interest rates, uh, you go buy that same house, you're going to pay $2,700 a month. Um, I mean, you can always go refinance in the future. It could take five years to fix this problem, so your future might be a long way off. Some people can't afford $2,700 a month. Um, for the same property they could have been paying for them $1,700 a month for. Um, even if the price comes down on the property, prices actually haven't even fallen yet. Um, sales have bit the dust um, in some places. Some places sales actually puckered up. Uh, but the prices haven't really come off yet. Uh, there's no buyers. There's no sellers. And the price is just stuck there in Highville. Um, so yeah, these companies, uh, Zillow, Redfin, I guess I'm going to add open door to the list. Uh, big home flipping companies are basically as flawed as ticket scalpers. That's from the business insider. Can it survive a real estate slump post heavy losses after losing money on home sales? Do they end up buying them for $400,000 and selling them for 300,000 in desperation to recover some of the cash uh, they're taking they're doing anything they can to get their houses back um, and then they probably finance the houses to boot 2,500 employees they're all probably gonna lose their job soon or half of them they don't need them anymore um, the only thing we can look at I guess is the numbers uh, the income statement they were a barely profitable company in 2022 for one quarter let's look at their annuals uh, revenue 15.57 billion is that in home sales for the year that doesn't seem like very many I mean I know it's billion with a B but how many houses is that these things are uh, let's just say they're a half million each that'd be 2,000 houses so yeah I guess they're a pretty big player that's a lot of houses. Uh, they had to post up a net loss on that number of 
three five billion dollars so they can get out of that many houses in one year and all of 2022 didn't suck inflation didn't really creep until midsummer uh rates were low until june um they probably had a half a year rolling strong like in the old the olden days economy that's why when you look at the quarterlies it actually shows a profit here and a near profit before they start eating shit at the end of the year um well they moved a lot more homes their goal seems to be let's get rid of everything uh, so they got motivated. That's what a motivated seller looks like. Uh, they double their revenue year over year. Good job, guys. Um, now all of a sudden you can double your revenue now that there's no money in the business. Doesn't that just make you sick? Uh, operating, uh, expense, 1.52 billion. Um, they lost 1.35 billion. So, yeah, um, I don't know. That's better than I would have expected. Like I said, the prices are, uh, they can't sell them. Uh, sellers can't sell, buyers can't buy. Buyers can't buy because the interest rate's too high, and sellers can't sell because all the buyers think the interest rate is too high. So you end up with a situation where we're at now. Uh, we need some inventory to come available so that the prices will come down uh, or the interest rates to come down so that they become more affordable. Uh, one of those two things needs to crack. Uh, it's in kind of at a stalemate right now. And who knows how long this can last. Um, yeah, uh, these people are selling. I mean, there are buyers out there for the right price. And apparently they're having just a fire sale on these things. They're selling them for less than what they bought them for. Um, and this is some inventory that they might have bought in 2020 before it went up a bunch in 2022, and 2021. And I don't really know when they bought this stuff and how long they held it. The longer they bought it, the longer they held it, the better they're probably doing right now. Um, operating expense, $1.52 billion. I just want to see the outstanding shares. Uh, shares outstanding, 642 million shares. Wow, that's like 20 times the usual. Looks like they did some dilution or they just issued a bunch. 20 times the usual. Uh, the world's got this thing priced at like 50 bucks, 55 bucks for the 30 million share equivalent, which is my personal baseline. I just use the same baseline to balance everything out in my head. So I have an idea of what the price means. Uh, this thing could say 10 cents on it or $500. That's not important. Um, it's the uh, outstanding shares and how many there are out there multiplied by that or the market cap, however you want to look at it. They're still calling this thing worth a billion dollars. Uh, let's look at their balance sheet and see what they have on the books. Uh, balance sheet, uh, 2021, before the crisis, before the trouble hit, $9.51 billion worth of houses. Wow. It's safe to say they're not buying any more houses right now. Liabilities of 7.26. That was um, the loans on these houses probably. Um, right side up 2021 still right side up in 2022 keep in mind half of 2022 was uh, good so let's look at this quarterly on the good half of 2022 uh, December of 2021 assets 9.5736 they managed to hold this thing together look at that they're still right side up because the houses haven't depreciated yet and if they were selling them for a loss they would still I guess have to pay off the house using cash they'd still have to pay off the mortgage on the house so it would still lower the liabilities but the gap would shrink 
I do see the gap shrinking. This was better times. Here we have a $2.3 billion gap. Here we have a $1.1 billion gap. So the gap is shrinking between assets and liabilities. Um, how much did they get rid of in one year? I'm assuming they just started getting rid of stuff. See, they're probably trying to acquire stuff at this point and become a bigger company. They liked having $10 billion worth of houses. They were probably hoping for even more assets in the future. So when you see it nice and low like this, you know, the fire sale has started. They have started to try to drop their inventories. They're done buying houses. They just want to get this shit off the books before the crash. They've got $6.61 billion worth of houses still to sell. They're still right side up as of today, it sure looks like. And how many houses did they sell last year? $15.5 billion. At this pace, well, they're almost out of houses. I'd say by today, by March, March of 2023, they're going to get through this. They're going to get through this before the crash. They're going to get rid of these $6.61 billion worth of houses and get themselves down to no inventory. They're going to sit out the crash without any pain, without any sweat. Probably just, hopefully they have some money. Let's see. They have $128 billion. That's a lot of money. They're going to need that to get them going again. Uh, I don't know how much more they can dilute the company. Um, they're going to end up with $1.28 billion and no houses. And, yeah, I mean, clearly if they can move that many houses, and they are. They're moving uh, $16 billion worth in 2022. And they're just picking up the pace, probably. Now they're probably going, shit, we only have $6 billion left. We're running out of crap. And they are going to run out of crap soon. And I don't think the prices are going to drop before they run out of crap. Um, they're finding some buyers. The price is right. Uh, they might lose even more money here. This $1.28 billion might be just gone by the time this 6 goes away. Depends on how much they have to discount these houses to sell them. But they seem to have pulled it off here kind of the gap got a little smaller but clearly they're still right side up the houses are worth more than the loans on the houses um, and that might be their credit cards that might be all their business expenses if they stuck on credit somehow it could be all kinds of things uh, maybe the loans are even less than this um, but we know the houses would be on the balance sheet uh, right side up with a billion to spare and a billion in the bank. And I say they can sell that in four months. And we're almost at four months. End of March. This company is going to be safe. I have declared it so. What's the price again? $1.53. I don't know. I'm going to put this one in on my safe list. I feel good about it. I feel like they're going to be houseless by the end of the month. I feel like they're going to have a billion dollars in cash. Um, they might have a lot more cash after they move these houses. Well, no, they got to pay the loans off. Uh, they could potentially have another uh, billion right here. If they can get out quick enough. They can get out without any more crushing appreciation on the houses they're going to have 2 billion in cash at the end of the month with no houses to sell and god knows they're not going to go buy more houses uh, they're going to have to come up with a new business plan or sit on the sidelines for a while or change up the business model a little bit <coughs> maybe I don't know what else they're good at or how long this takes to recover from. But Open Door is worth a billion dollars. They're worth less than the cash that they have as a market cap. 
I don't think anything bad is happening to this company. They're succeeding in moving the houses and getting it out the door. And and they're succeeding in, in, in somehow not being upside down on these houses in 2022. I don't know whether these are professional um, appraisals that got done or whether the company is just saying, oh, yeah, that's what we owe. Or, or whether that's really what they owe. I guess that's what they owe. So... They did finance the houses. That's how it went. Um, I think I'm liking it. I don't know. We got a company with nothing to do. Uh, I guess we have to come up with something clever for them to do all day long besides buy and sell houses because they're not going to have any. Um, huh. Wonder if they'll keep a few houses and get in the rental market just to generate some income. Um, that could be a possibility. Maybe they'll hang on to a hundred properties or something at the end. Um, try to turn it into some kind of survival business to get through this, uh, the next few years it might take for the rates to return. This would be one hell of a time to be in the rental market. And once they know the apocalypse is over, they can get back to doing what they do, but they've got the houses they can turn this thing into a property management company. Um, they can get premium rents right now. Um, and I don't know how many houses they want to keep to do that with. I can see them not wanting to keep a lot of them, knowing that they're crashing. But you might keep uh, enough of them to keep the offices open and stuff. I don't know. I'd say they're they're probably talking every day. They're coming up with new clever ways to to do a few new things, and they might use a few houses uh, or a few hundred houses or a thousand houses to to get that done with. Uh, they might just they'll pick out the very best properties, the ones who would fetch the best rents, put those aside, and sell the rest. Um, their balance sheet's going to get torn up for a while, but their income statement is going to look like a bunch of profit from rentals. And the 2,570 people that work there are going to have to go home. Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to afford to pay any of them anymore. So they'll hire them back when interest rates get normal or they feel like buying houses again. But yeah, that whole old game is over. Anyway, that's my thoughts for this one here. I kind of like it. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just so happy that they. it looks like they could get out of this thing. It looks like they're going to escape the danger, um, which is awesome. Um, they made a lot of money. It's very risky what they did. Uh, they're lucky that the houses aren't crashing right now. They're just uh, hard to sell. Apparently, they're able to sell them. Um, they're probably just shaving $20,000 off the price, and they're moving. Um, they bought in the right cities. That would explain how easy it is. Uh, but Open Door Technologies, it's going to be just a company with a billion or two uh, with nothing to do for a few years. Uh, I don't know if you want to invest in that. Um yeah, and the market cap is worth the cash right now that they're probably going to have left. So I see this one going absolutely nowhere probably, uh, but I can't see it going down. I don't know what the downside is. They're always going to have that much cash if what I'm saying is, is accurate. They're just going to have to fire everybody. Severance pay. Yeah, I can see them with no money at the end. That's a lot of people. Um, a lot of people getting fired here. Anyway, Open Door Technologies. Uh, yeah, good job. You made a lot of money. But it looks like you are history. Hasta la pasta. See you in the next video. Have a great night, everybody. Like and subscribe. And uh, off to the next video. I'm sorry. For $1.53, I thought we had something here. I just can't live with this one. They're, they don't have a business anymore. Uh, you know they're not buying any more houses. That would be suicidal. Um, yeah. 
See you in the next video.